Today we're using the threshold tool to combine worlds. What's up everyone? Welcome to the 18 millionth time I've tried to record this video. My name is Jason and you can find me on the web on jasonmatias.com and Facebook and all that stuff. Jason Matias Photography, links below. And um, we're going to combine these two photos using the threshold tool. So let's jump right into it. Like I said, I've done this a million times. I had a separate webcam so that you know, I wasn't so in your face when um, doing this video, but it keeps causing my 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 data or whatever to crash and it gets all, all jittery on the audio. So if you know how to fix that, then um, do send me a message I'm reaching out here. But uh, back to the tutorial, we're gonna use the threshold tool to get rid of this guy while keeping a pristine selection on this tree. And then we're gonna take this photo from Morocco. It's an eight minute exposure to this photo taken in Oregon during uh, at Rowena Crest on a uh, road trip I did for my birthday. Anyway, so I just did tab to hide the panels on my screen and we're gonna select the uh, the picture of the tree and I'm gonna hit F for a full screen and the first thing we want to do is actually um, well I already edited this photo like a million times through camera raw and just to bring up this exposure that we have right now so uh, for brevity's sake we're not going to do any of that I am going to make two copies of my tree and I'm going to come up to image adjustments again it's up to image and then adjustments and threshold tool you could, you could go to uh, down here, and let me just hit escape. You can come down here and bring up your threshold tool here, but it brings it up as a separate layer. And since I don't plan on keeping this layer at all, I don't need, I don't want the extra layers in my photo. So image, adjustments, and threshold tool. All right, so if you are not familiar with the threshold tool, um, what it does is it takes everything to the left of this slider and makes it completely white and everything to the right or the left of the slider uh, completely black. And, and that's really convenient for separating things that are light from things that are dark. So at, at the moment, this is right here in the middle at 128 on a 256-bit um, image. So it's 50% gray and anything that is lighter than 50% gray turns into white and everything that is darker than 50% gray turns into black. And um, you can move the slider left and right and you change the selection accordingly. So actually right in the middle conveniently is perfect for this image. And actually maybe if I just use my arrow keys to make a fine adjustment, I am actually going to go uh, a tad bit lighter, meaning that I want more of the sky to be white. And then I'm going to hit OK. From here, I'm going to use the uh, wand tool. It's called the magic wand tool. And what this does is when you, when you select an area, anything that is similar to that area becomes part of the selection also. So I want to delete the sky, but I don't want to select the sky because uh, this doesn't go through the image and pick everything that is white. It goes through the image and picks everything that is white that is also connected to the place that you selected. So all these areas inside the tree where the branches kind of make little lakes of white, uh, those aren't selected. So I'm going to hit Command D and I'm going to select the black area down here. So everything that is black that is connected is part of my selection that includes these little clouds over here but doesn't include the sky or some of these branches. But some of the area inside here is brighter than the 50% gray that we selected. So I'm gonna use my wand tool, not my wand tool, my lasso tool, excuse me, to include all this in my selection. Just like that. And this is um, using the addition tool, the, the additive, uh, feature of the wand. So there's some areas in the tree that need to be collected. And then we're going we're gonna to clean up this even further uh, a little bit later on. But we just want to get as much as we can now for brevity's sake. So right now I have everything that is black selected. I have more foreground selected, but I want my sky. So I'm going to hit Shift Command I to inverse the selection. And then I'm going to hide this one for now. 
come down to my layer and I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to deselect. So if I delete this bottom background layer, my sky is completely gone and we just have some cleaning up to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, just compositionally, these branches that come in and the branches of the tree itself that fall off the screen, I don't really like them too much. They, uh, they distract from the picture itself. So I'm actually just going to get rid of this one branch because it's really ugly and it sucks. And I can do that. So I'm using my eraser tool and I'm just going to get rid of it. Like, And this one bugs me, so I'm going to get rid of it, I'm going to get rid of all that. And this one, and this one, and I mean there are no rules here, you don't have to do it, um, like I don't have to get rid of these, and I actually think they're pretty cool, but the, the image is a little bit um, crooked because I, I really suck at leveling my tripod. Actually, my tripod sucks at leveling my tripod. It's, it's just been, I mean, it's so damaged from being abused. It has salt water damage, fall damage, lava damage, damage damage. I mean, it just, it just goes on, but it is a beast and what I got right now. That's our relationship. So, uh, da -da -da -da. so you can see in the areas that actually these little spots here were brighter than 50% gray and they got deleted with the rest of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide my background layer and I'm going to or turn it on but then I'm going to hide it behind a mask. Holding the option key and hitting the mask gives me a black mask. That just saves you a step between you know you and Toast. You can make a white mask and fill it, but anyway, I'm going to brush in the parts that got kind of obliterated using, not my eraser, uh, hit B for the brush tool, brush it 100%, I have a small brush at 61% hardness, and then I'm just going to brush in the areas that need to come back. And I don't have to be just for the for brevity's sake, I'm not going to go into too much detail. The ground here obviously needs to come back, and I think I saw that there were some clouds over here that we don't need holes in. Although you know you'd never see this in an image that was just put on the web. This tree, we don't want any sky leaking through the tree. That would be a cool tree though. And so, boom, yeah, we just did that. And then now. One of the things about the threshold tool is it doesn't make the most perfect, any selection tool doesn't make the most perfect um, grab. So if I come down and I hit, make a, a layer right here and I fill this layer with black, let me use my palette, I'm hitting option, delete to fill it with black. You can see it's got all this, uh, what would you call it? It's not a halo, it's just part of the sky that got grabbed when we grabbed the tree and we don't want that to show up. When I put the Milky Way back here, it's dark in the background, so that's gonna show up. So what I wanna do is I wanna come back to my tree that I have um, used, and I'm gonna use this as a selecting tool. So I'm gonna hold Command and hit Select, and that selected the tree. What I wanna do is I wanna inverse that selection so I can select the empty space, so Shift, Command, I, and then I'm gonna go up to Select and Modify, and I'm going to feather my selection. And so when, when this says two, this is really a four feather um, feather. Like the middle radius is two, but then there's a pixel on your side that is feathered. So I, um, I went through this twice already and I'm actually gonna use two pixels and then I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see the selection got a bit tighter and then I'm just gonna hit delete. So if we hide 
or or we deselect, a lot of that has gone away. So command zero, that's our tree. I'm going to delete my black layer, I don't need it anymore. And I'm also going to delete my threshold layer, I don't need that anymore. These two are one, so I am just going to merge them by hitting Command E. And it's telling me that it's going to apply that first, that's okay. All right, then I am going to, I'm going to hit F to get out of full screen. Grab my sky from Morocco from one of the most epic nights of my life and add it to the most epic birthday of it's a pretty awesome birthday. I had some awesome friends just take me around with them while they road tripped or we road tripped. And if you hold the shift tool while you uh, transform, it'll can it'll maintain the the dimensions and we're gonna make that sky bigger so that it it's better. And enter. Computer's going just a tad bit slow. And here we go. There are two pictures are you know, one picture. Married. Till death do them part. Or I close this and don't save it. Um, I'm just going to mess with this a little bit. I want that Milky Way to kind of go in the same direction as the tree because it can. And I'm going to expand this to fill the empty voids of its life and make it happy. I'm not too concerned about um, the dimensions anymore. It's not that big of a deal. It's just sky. It can be a little distorted and no one will know. It's, it's not that no one will know. I mean, this is art. This is going to look like how you want it to look like. It's your vision. Who cares if... Well, it only matters what you think. Or what I think, because it's my video. Enter. All right, and we're just about done. From here, a few things I would do is I want to make my foreground a little bit darker, because it's a daytime and it doesn't look like it matches. So I'm bringing up a Curves tool. I want my Curves tool to only affect my foreground. So I'm gonna clip it. I'm gonna hit this button right here and it's gonna clip it to the bottom. So no matter what it does, it's only gonna affect my foreground. And I'm just gonna pull it down a tad. To make it a little more contrasty. The shadow would be a little bit darker. And yeah, you could tweak on this for a while. And da -da -da. I mean, afterward, I would probably come in and I would paint a little bit on the flowers, make them glow a little bit, and make the photo just just a little bit more poppy. I, I kind of... Sorry, I'm getting a little OCD at the moment. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit Command, hold Command, and grab this node. And I'm just going to kind of bring this over a little bit. Hit enter. That's my neck. You shouldn't crack your neck like that. And I'm going to call this done. So we took the threshold tool. We messed with selections and we find our selection. We used a little bit of mass and did some other cool stuff. And I hope that you found this useful and entertaining and all that stuff. And um, if you have any questions, recommendations, you want me to elaborate on something, go ahead and send me a message on, or you can put it in the comments, those are cool, or you can send me a message on Facebook, that's kind of cool too. And you could just you know, stop by and say hi, and that is that is also really, really cool. So thanks for watching, and I will, oh, you know what I should do. So if you have anything that you want to learn and would like me to make a tutorial on it, then just put it in the comments and I will get right on that because it's what I like to do. Cheers.
introductions. Two seconds to be like, hey, look at me. I do stuff on the computer. Today we're using the Threshold School. School. Three hours to make a 10 minute video. That's 15 minutes long.